Well, we're getting closer and closer to the spring, but today's day falls on that really tricky day for myself. Oh man, do I miss the old schedule. But what are you gonna do, right? Got some metal here. I'm not even sure what the heck this thing is. Another fan component. But we're back. Back in action. I guess I really didn't take a break. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I say we're back in action like, like I left you guys for a week or two. Nope, not the case. We're keeping the streak alive. It's finding some treasure out here. Early afternoon, trash picking. Probably will be combined with tomorrow's morning. And we'll see what else kind of things we can find on our endeavors. Trash picking and fun things with taco stacks. Let's do it. Side note for any of you, I guess, Pennsylvania folks, maybe even New, yeah, New Jersey also. Well, this one, Rita's, is opening this Saturday, right? February 24th, I believe, is this Saturday. Rita's is open. Spring and summer, not far away. I'm surprised they always open up so early, and I'm just like, who's going to get an icy in February? But it's, I guess, Rita's day. It's opening up. All right. It might even be the last stop of the morning. Uh, like I said, I, I'll probably be back out tomorrow morning, or should I say, last stop this afternoon. I'll be back out tomorrow morning. This thing's a little bit dirty, but I think it might just be dirty on the front. So it smells like someone's burning something. I picked up some really nice prints there last year at that same spot. I also picked up some sort of basketball poster. Like someone put like, oh, I don't know what that mode is. Whatever, M1 is. I don't know what that is, but we were in that for half a second. But I picked up some sort of basketball poster. These are the people who threw away brass and copper last week. So I got about $15 worth. That was nice. Back to my story. Um, and that was like the first thing that someone bought out of my van last summer. I opened up the door and somebody, like three people asked me about it. And all it was was a basketball poster or a poster with a basketball in the middle and had like 50 or 100 pennants, like small pennants from like the late 2000s. It wasn't even like vintage. But somebody just wanted a whole collage of pennants. You know, like the college pennants, but these were sports related. New too, not old. It's the following day. It looks like the sun's just peeking up over the horizon. We still have a lot of snow over here. It's like a never-ending process with the snow, but it is winter and the sun is coming up. So it's another day. The pond's frozen. Salsa's is excited. And uh, hopefully it's going to get a little bit lighter out. This person has a lot of garbage bags out. I seen one household that, oh, this person has a ton also. Oh. I think I need to uh, dig that bad boy out. It's probably actually better that I do that because then, uh, well, that's probably less garbage that the garbage companies could decide if they want to take. Surprisingly, they didn't put, I don't know why they didn't put that at the road though. Like it's behind cushions. Like you would think if somebody comes along who does scrap metal, they would take it, right? Why would you put that as far up? I don't get people sometimes. I feel like if you have something really heavy, you should probably put it as closest to the road as possible. That way you make the garbage men do the least amount of work. This one is behind some things and buried a little, but I'll get it out. That ain't an issue. Sometimes I feel like I'm very smart and other times I'm just like, meh.
not heavy as much as it just I don't want to make a lot of noise right now. Like maybe I'm in the minority here, but I feel like if you have something that has a decent amount of weight to it, wouldn't you want the garbage men to do the least amount of work? So you'd probably put it as close to the row as possible. They also say, I haven't really noticed it too much now, is like, see that snow bank there? If that snow bank was kind of like in front of your house, don't put the garbage cans on top of the snow bank. Don't put it behind it, put it in front of it, in the road. Although it might not make a little bit of sense because you're putting it essentially in the road, garbage men then don't have to climb over a snow mountain to get your garbage cans. random things. They have a lot of garbage bags also. Sure there's a lot of trash bags out. This chicken really does not want to cross the road. Pick a side, either side, bud. Left, right. Don't go back to the right. There you go. There you go, bud. <laughs> that chicken did not want to cross the road, so he has no reason why he would want to cross the road. Got something out here in the road. it is. The heck is it? Can't tell. Throw on those, grab these gloves. Looks almost like that thing that they rolled out in class. The laptops in it. Oh, it's not even wood. It's some sort of like plywood. They look like wood to me. It looks like, <laughs> I mean, it looks like metal to me. broken too. Broken to add on to uh oh, I wonder if they'll take that little mattress too. I threw out a mattress this week. I don't know if they took it because my garbage company hasn't showed up yet. But um that's there we go. But I wrapped my mattress yesterday in the cold and the wind I got the old plastic sheet out I wrapped it up and then put it out. So, hopefully they'll take it. I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, if I made it to the scrap yard, I actually went to the post office, just naturally drove into the post office parking lot and realized it's President's Day. They're not open. So I didn't even have my packages with me, but then I realized I didn't have them because I knew it was President's Day and then I drove in. And I was like, oh, it is President's Day, but I don't even have my package. Long story short, it's one of those holidays. And it's also one of those days, I guess. So I'm dropping off metal here. Oh, that's a whole lake right there. Well, I don't know how far back that lake goes, so I'm going to not park on the water. Also, thought about it. Can't really, you don't really want to park on that ice because this is a rear wheel drive vehicle and I'd probably just keep sliding and I'd never be able to go forward ever again dropping off some metal. I don't really have a lot of metal, but uh, I am bidding on storage units that end in about four hours, so I want to be prepared if I have to go. On to our next endeavor. I have family coming into town, so I'm picking them up. Um, but I'm looking at the storage I want to bid on. It's kind of got older stuff in it. It's old aluminum, it's old blankets, old pots and pans. The boxes are old. There's older cigarette boxes, like from the 90s. It's very, very dirty and very dusty. So it, it's probably been there a long time. It does look like it's kind of, I wouldn't say thrown around but it's, I wouldn't say it's weird because it's not, I don't know, we'll see what happens is what I'm saying. But I got a lot of things to do over the next 72 hours. I don't know how I'm gonna get out six videos this week, but I'm gonna try my best. But I'm going to the thrift store to drop off all these donations, hopefully. 
uh, and hopefully I'll buy the storage unit. It ends in two hours, so I might have to bid for my phone, which is nice with some of these apps you can bid from your phone so you don't have to be at a computer. We'll see if we get it. If I do, that video will probably be Saturday. Uh, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to get six videos out this week, but we've done it for the last five years, so I think we can uh, maybe squeeze something out here and try to figure it out. But Yeah, that's the only storage unit I'm really interested in that's going up. There's like between three or four facilities there's maybe 15 or so some of them are a couple thousand dollars already like if i can find this one i'll show you it's at like last time i checked it was at two thousand dollars and i just know exactly like it, it's probably not good there it is Jeez. it's over two thousand dollars and this is what it is it's like i wouldn't say hundreds of boxes but they're all amazon boxes and a bunch of pallets. So there's a lot of different possibilities of what it could be. I have my assumptions. I can either tell you guys and have a thousand people say, oh no, you're wrong. And a thousand people say, oh yeah, you're right. But I don't get offended like other people do. So my opinion here is that I think these are all one of one item from Amazon. So someone out there said, hey look, I have a bunch of I don't know, so puzzles, and it's all the same puzzle, and they sent them to Amazon, and then they all got returned, whether they didn't sell or whatever it might be, because I have done enough of these auctions, and I was at a pallet auction where they had the same exact boxes, and there had to be about 30 or so, and they were all the same game. They were like a board game, and they looked exactly the same. So. Although it looks fun, there's a lot of boxes. I think they're all the same product. They could be Amazon returns and someone bought like a tractor trailer filled and that's why you have the pallets on the side because um, they, they could have arrived on pallets and they just kind of boxed them up and put them in the warehouse or in a storage unit. But I'm thinking they're all the same thing. So somebody's spending two grand on this. That's a huge gamble. And I tell you what, I don't want to gamble like that. Uh, because if I spent two grand and they're all the same board game or all the same product and there's probably 10,000 of them, unless there's something that's worth 10 or 15 bucks each, it's going to be very difficult to sell the same exact item for a dollar each if it's something like a board game or a puzzle or whatever it is. And to make two grand back is not that easy. Uh, plus you have virus premium, plus you have sales tax. And for a unit like that, you're probably going to have to either have a box truck or rent a box truck. So you're going to probably be in there about three grand. And that is hoping that it's not something that is complete trash. But, you know, it could be gold, could be this, could be that. I'm not really a gambling person. I like the small storage units, the cheaper ones, the ones that I can get in there. Don't have to rent it for a month. Um, if I if I like gambling, I'd probably go to a casino, do some slots. Whatever it might be, but I'm just not a gambling person. I'm a business kind of person. So, a little different approach to it, but that's what's kind of going on. Okay, so I'm stopping off at Home Depot. I have to get something really quickly, but I wanted to look at these. I don't know if they're stump grinders or are they something else. They look like stump grinders. So, when I rented a stump grinder from Home Depot, I got one of those. They did not have this available. I don't have a price on outside. It's the Bariota. It's like it comes with a trailer, so you gotta take the trailer. Two inch something grind on each pass. Huh. It's got tracks on it. Yeah, they didn't have that available when I uh, when I rented one. They don't have a trailer hitch. On anything. Yeah, so I rented one of these, man. This thing. Dash. Uh, let's just leave it at that. That video did really well. It's one of my most viewed videos every 24 hours. It's like in the top 10. I think that video came out in 2020. Picks up like eh, about 200 views every day. Are these guys worth anything? They're 20 bucks. I don't know why, but I feel like I saw someone spend a lot of money on these at an auction or a yard sale. 
That I don't remember. Batman. Okay, so my trash section over here is getting a little depleted. I would have loved to throw more stuff over here, but not really. Um, this stuff has to get put out once per week. Or next time I plan on going to the landfill, I'll just bring this over because realistically it's not a whole lot of money that I'm going to, I guess, lose by bringing it to the landfill as opposed to just throwing out regular trash. But So yeah, that's going to wrap it up here for today's adventure. Uh, very funny seeing that... that uh, the storage units with all the Amazon boxes sell for $4,150. I don't know who won it. It's one of those auction sites that don't show the username of the buyer, which is kind of nice and kind of not nice because uh, I kind of – a little bit nosy. You kind of want to know which person in the area kind of bought it, and not necessarily their actual full name, but just their usernames. And some of these sites do show your username. So once you match up a couple of them, you kind of memorize who's who. Um, but yeah, they spent $4,150. That's what it sold for. Who knows? It could have been all Amazon returns. It could have been all of the same item. It could have been 10,000, 20,000 of the same pieces. Um, it could have been masks, hand sanitizer. It could have been anything. Um, or it could have been Amazon returns and literally just a tractor trailer filled or two tractor trailer fields of Amazon stuff. Or maybe it's not even Amazon stuff in general. It just literally it was boxes. It was weird that nothing was opened. So you can't even get an idea um, of what was in there. But that's that. Maybe someone had a little bit more information than I do, or maybe um, they didn't want people to know something is at the facility. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, a little over $4,000 plus buyer's premium plus sales tax probably brings you closer to five grand on a unit. And then obviously all the time you have invested and all that. So hopefully they'll make more than $5,000 in stuff. Um, but that is not for me to decide because I'm not there. I don't know anything about it. And that is that. Uh, funny enough, the storage unit I was bidding on kind of had anxiety all morning because I was like, man, I got a lot of stuff to do this week and I want to buy it. I bid it up to $170. It ended up selling for $170. I was the bid at $160. Just now I got an email saying the unit has been canceled. So although the auction already ended, sometimes when these units get paid up for, they actually email you after the unit sells. Um, so even though I wasn't the high bidder, it did say the unit that I was bidding on got canceled. Um, so hopefully the person who won it didn't drive all the way out there or live two hours or three hours away because if you're driving to the facility, someone pays up even an hour or two hours after the auction ends. If you're not there, the payment's already made you lose out on the unit. It happens to me, happened to me before, and that's why I kind of stay away from buying any unit far than like 45 minutes or an hour away because that really stinks. Um, more likely or not, the person was either on the way to pick up the unit uh, from the auction or something else happened. But yeah, that unit got canceled, so... I guess I really didn't lose out anyway, but uh, it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see what happens this week. Should be a fun week. As always, if you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.